Hi everyone, let's go ahead and talk about doing the leaf drop project. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go open up uh, create new and open up a brand new file and when it opens up I'm going to go ahead and use the standard setting box here and click create and once I have this open I'm going to go up to the right hand side here and on the box here workspaces click on that and make sure that we are set at animator which we are. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to import my uh, leaf and tree. Now some of you for the homework, some of you uh, drew uh, the leaves and the tree and the background all on the same page. We need to cut those out separately, okay? So let me go ahead and import here uh, to the stage is uh, one that I have here uh, for you guys is um, the uh, for the leaf project here. I've got this image here that was done, a very nice image. Uh, that, uh, but in fact, it's all one piece. We don't break it apart. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and go to control and uh, we're going to go to, uh, excuse me, uh, modify bitmap trace bitmap. So that's what we're going to do. Modify bitmap trace bitmap. And we're going to go ahead and say, we're going to leave it alone here. Let's see, let's crank that threshold. Minimum A, we'll leave all that the way it is and say, uh, say okay. Now you see how it's all pixelated. We're going to click off the side, make sure your white arrow is selected. Clicking the black arrow of the side. Now I need to get rid of some stuff. So the blue of the sky, I just clicked it once. You'll notice it's pixelated. I'm going to hit the delete key. Gone. Now I need to get rid of the grass. Click on it once. Hit the delete key. Gone. Now I need to get rid of all this extra little bits of grass on either side, which are wonderful, but we need to have them separate because we want to go ahead and build our movie. So you notice I'm just left clicking and dragging and uh, getting rid of parts. One last little part here, I'm going to use the eraser tool and get rid of uh, this little part right here, and which is the uh, little bits of grass either side of the tree there. Okay, so I got rid of those, and I've got the leaves. So I need to separate these, okay? So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and I can use my lasso tool, or I can use the free transform tool, right, and I can select them. I'll use the lasso tool. So I'm going to go ahead here and select the lasso, left click and drag. And as long as I overlap that line at the end, it's going to select everything inside there. You see it's selected. So I'm going to go ahead and go uh, Command G to lock it. Okay, so that's on a separate layer right now. So I'm going to do right now with this little guy right here is I'm going to um, go ahead now and right click it. And I'm going to go ahead and say cut. And then I'm going to lock this layer at a new layer. Okay, add a new layer on there with it right here. And go up to that frame right there that is a new layer of frame. Right click and say paste in place. So now I put it on a new, new layer. I'm going to label that tree. Okay. And that's labeled. Click off the side there. And I just want to move this down and make myself some more space here. So I'll move my cursor down in between here. Get that double arrow. Left click and drag. Move it here. Left click and drag. There we go. Now I've got some more space here to see my spaces. Now this layer right here is going to be my leaf layer. So I'm going to double click that right now and say leaf. Okay. So my tree, my leaf, my leaves are all in a separate, they're all together as one layer. So I'm going to lock my tree, go back down to my leaf, and I need to go ahead and lock these guys. So I'm going to use my uh, lasso tool again, and I'll click just the one at a time. So there's one, command G, white arrow, move it off the side because I don't want it in my way. Next one, I go back again, lasso tool, select the next one, left click and drag and hold, overlap the line. When well, it's still selected, command G to lock it. That is my black arrow. Move it off to the side. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. This time, since I just have the one leaf by itself free and clear, there's nothing in the obstacles in its way, I can just left click and drag with my white arrow and go command G. So now these three are all separate. They're locked, right? They're not going to be taken apart. And this is on a separate layer. So I'm going to lock that up. Now I need to add another, another layer for the background. So I'm going to go ahead and click another layer here, which we'll say new layer. For this new layer, I'm going to drag it to the background. So this is going to be my uh, uh, earth and sky. So I just put down that earth and sky. So I'll click off the side there. There we go. And I'm going to click on my rectangle tool here, but I need to fill with the color. So let's get myself a, oh, kind of a greenish, maybe a kind of a, a, a dull, because like basically we're kind of like almost fall, aren't we? Uh, with our color. So it's kind of kind of a dead grass color here. That's a good one there. And I'm going to left click and drag about a third of the way up the page. 
uh, or the stage, I'm going to drag a, a rectangle. And then I'm going to go back into my colors, and I'll select a blue this time for the sky. But uh, when I click on it, uh, I want to go ahead and use my color picker. So I want to go here and pick kind of a paler blue. That's nice. Maybe something kind of grayish. Gray blue, that's kind of nice. Kind of a uh, blue hazy day there. There we go. And I'm going to left click and drag. Almost looks more lavender, doesn't it? Well, that's okay. It's the fall. All right, so now I have my, my background. So I'm going to lock this layer, okay? And uh, when I click on it, I'm going to go Command G, lock it together, okay? And there is my background layer. Now, to continue setting up, uh, the next thing I have to do here is I need to go ahead and I've got my tree, my leaf, my earth and sky, which is great. Uh, the next thing I need to do is to go ahead and make sure that I got my rest of my movie set up. Um, if you had looked at the blog, um, I have the uh, script set out. It has three scenes set up. So I've got scene one here. So I'm going to add, now that I've got my main stage set up, so I'm going to double click that. I'm going to label that body because that's the body of the movie. And then I'm going to add two more scenes. So I'm going to right here, it says add scene. I'm going to click that twice, one and two, and then become opening, I'm becoming opening. So I'll type that, type of that open, O-P-E-N, click off the side, and this will be the end. That's where my end card goes. So remember, all I have to do is just left click on it and drag it above it. And now when I play this, it'll play in sequence. So I've got the opening, the body, and the end card. So the opening, certainly, we know that's going to be. That's going to be um, the uh, title card, right? And we sort of imagine, remember, we're going to line it up with our thirds on stage here. So if I click on the opening, and I click on the T for text, and let's change the color, and let's go ahead and make it a, make it a nice uh, uh, black there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and click click there, and I'm going to say leaf drop. There we go. And a little bit of leaf drop, and I'm going to put that right there about a third of the way down, right, following that rule of thirds there. And then I'm going to click on, again, the text tool, and make put my name in there. Bye. The like Arthur King Mana, King Mana, King Mana, King. Arthur E. My goodness. What, is it? what a spelling day. It must be. There we go. i put that here. I need to resize that. While it's selected, I can go over here to the right. And you'll see where it says character, bold, all this. I need to be able to move this up. So I need to go ahead and um, look right here. There's my size, my point right there. I'm going to left click on that and drag inward. I want about half the half the height of my uh, title, uh, and I'll move that to about the third of the way up from the bottom, and center it. There, that looks nice. And so what I'm going to do is I want this to last for about three seconds. So I just move go right over here to the timeline at the top, and at right here at frame 90 at the three second mark, right in that blank space, I'm just going to left click once. You see, it turns blue, and then I go to the keyboard. The top of the keyboard, I hit the key. That is F as in Fox 5. So F5, just one time. It extends that keyframe out. I'm good. I've got my title card in. I'm good to go there. Now I go to the end of the movie and I'm going to go and click on the text tool, type in the end. And I think I'll stack that letters. So I'll just like type it like so. And I'll click on my white arrow. And I need to enlarge this, certainly. So what I'm going to do is go over here to the size with it selected and just left click and drag up. There we go. Got it nice and large there. Perfect. There we go. All right. So uh, I need to go ahead and extend this out again to last on the timeline. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the uh, three second mark and click on there and hit F5 one time. And that is all extended out. So now I have the uh, the opening the body, and the end card. Okay, so I'm good to go there. Now I need to go back in, and for the most alt intents and purposes, I'm done with the opening card, I'm done with the end card, and I'm just going to be right here now on the body. So the body of the movie here, now let's say that, before we begin to sort of do our setup, is that we want to say that uh, we want the movie is going to last, and the leaf, as it's following its, its trajectory, it's going to last as long as it needs to last. If that makes sense. It needs to last as long as it needs to last, for the action to take place in a, in a believable way. All right, so what I'm going to do first is um, the earth and sky and the tree, I'm going to extend those out. 
uh, I'm going to extend those out. So I'm going to go and go down to, say, around the, uh, oh, let's say the 10-second mark here. And where it lines up here with the earth and the sky, click that one time with a left click and F5, extend that out. And the tree, extend that out. Now, because we don't, we're not going to extend the leaf because the leaf is what's going to be animated frame by frame. But the leaf and the tree, we want those just to stay there. We want those to remain all by themselves, just there. Okay. Now, um, so now we got to basically look back at our back to the beginning here. All right, we're back at the beginning. And what I'm going to do is at the very front here, I'm going to go ahead first and take that leaf, and I'm going to left click on it and drag it above the tree. So if you look at my order, it's leaf, tree, and earth and sky. Okay. Now, before I begin the animation part, I do one more critical thing I need for my setup to begin this process. Um, and that's I need to create myself a guide layer. Just like we did for the ball bounce. I need to make myself a guide layer. And this guide layer will get erased eventually. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on the tree. And then I'm going to put a click on new layer. Now, the reason I click on tree is because anytime you put a guide layer in, the guide layer always, or not guide layer, but the next layer always goes in on top of the layer that you're that you've got selected. So, and I don't want my guide layer on top of the leaf; I want it under. So that's why I picked the tree. So, click on this uh, new layer once. There's my new layer, and I'm going to double click on it and label it guide. That's good. My guide layer. Look off to the side. Now the other layers are locked. The guide layer is in place, and I'm going to go ahead and just click on the first keyframe. And then I'm going to select my colors in my box here. I'm changing it to nice and bright red. Something makes it easy to see. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on the uh, paintbrush. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and draw myself a line. If I go over here quickly, I see my brush options. I'll make my brush a little smaller. That's going to say, you know, four. Four is good. And so what's going to happen is the tree, the leaf is going to start um, right here on the, on the tree, right on the tip of the branch of the tree. And what's going to happen is the idea is that you're supposed to show uh, the hand of nature ripping that leaf off of the tree. And I'll start with this one right here. So what's going to happen is that leaf is going to rip off and it's going to come down, make a big circle, nice and smooth, and whoosh, it goes off the stage. Okay. Then what's going to happen is, and that's the first sequence. The idea is it's going to be here. It's going to wiggle, 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 and rip, and whoosh, and turn, and off the stage. Then it'll be off the stage for one to two seconds, okay, preferably two seconds. Then when it comes back on the stage, it's going to come in and closer to the viewer, down lower in the foreground. So I'm going to go ahead here and bring it down lower, and now it's going to come back in, and right there, and it comes in, it does a big sweep, and it comes up like this, and it comes up like, boom, and lands. That's it. So one, and two, and land. And it's going to land lower. So when the leaf does come in closer to us, when it comes back in, it's going to be about double the size because it's going to be closer to the viewer. Okay? But we'll talk about moving the, the leaf in a moment here. But this is your general guide. Okay? It starts out the top, does a big sweep, comes out, it rips off, it's gone for a second or two, comes back in. Now it's going to be twice the size. You're going to enlarge it. When it comes back in, these are more, no loops, just a sway. One and two and down right in the foreground. And then you let the movie st stay right where it is for about two seconds before you cut to the end scene. So this has been the basic setup uh, for the movie. I'm gonna go ahead and lock this up. Um, at this point now, I am ready to begin the animating of my leaf, all right? So we're all set. Um, this is what I need you guys to do to go ahead and get yourself to this stage and get yourself ready to go uh, for our animation, okay? Uh, once it's done, then we'll go on to the next uh, uh, video and we'll talk about the animating process, how to copy and paste, make the leaf look and move in a believable way as it works its way through the, uh, the stage and uh, works its way at the one-third level here, going up and around and off, and coming back in at the one-third level, and then coming to a rest in the foreground. Okay? All right. We'll see you guys soon.